Ay, bagal daw po. Considering the fact that uh, the Cordilleras is the water cradle mm. of the North, sir. What's your uh, policy, uh, direction towards protecting the uh, environment in the Cordilleras, especially mining, sir? Well, I think in terms of in terms of protecting the environment, it's very clear what uh, what the position of this government has always been. It has been a um, uh, an important part of all our policies that we are environmentally conscious that we are moving the economy towards green uh, technologies. Uh, we are moving our production of power towards renewables. Uh, so in, uh, in that regard, all our forest cover is important and must remain. Uh, that, the, uh, that is giving the Philippines, the, we fall into the category of a carbon sink country because of our forest cover. And so we, that is a very valuable asset for the Philippines. Now, in terms, of, uh, in terms of monetizing, you can actually now monetize forest cover. You can give it a, uh, a, uh, a peso value, a dollar value, uh, so that uh, it can, we can take advantage of uh, being more active in promoting uh, the, and monitoring, regulating, and the, uh, uh, encouraging the, the care uh, of our forest cover, of all our environmental assets. It's very, very important. When it comes to mining, uh, mining is very clearly an important part of our plans for the economy. However, it's clear that we do not want uh, the, some of the incidents that we saw in the past few years to happen again. And so it, it is really a question of enforcing the law in terms of responsible mining. And that is what we will continue to do. We will always make sure that the mining companies who come in, once they are finished mining, that they leave, they leave the site in the same condition as it was when they found it.